Welcome to Therapy Thursdays here in Louisiana Living. I'm Dr. Jerry Yarborough, physical therapist and owner of Physical Therapy and Balance Centers of North Louisiana and South Arkansas. And now serving you in six exciting locations in Jonesboro, Ruston, West Monroe, Monroe, and Bastrop in El Dorado, Arkansas. So remember you have direct access. No referrals are required. Just call and make an appointment and we can see you. Today we're going to continue our series on elbow impairments and we have Jennifer McCarthy here, our occupational therapist. And so what are you going to talk about today? So today we're going to talk about cubital tunnel. Dr. Jerry, you ever hit your funny bone? I have. Well, not very hurts. funny, is it? Not funny at all. So when you hit your funny bone, you're actually not hitting a bone, you're hitting your ulnar nerve. So you get that kind of electrical feeling, maybe even some pins and needles running down your arm. That's very similar to what cubital tunnel feels like because that nerve at your elbow is being pinched off and you get that feeling. The difference is when you hit your funny bone, it's very temporary, whereas cubital tunnel, it is a condition that can kind of plague you for a while. Um, you may get that constant numbness or tingling, uh, or you may get it and it go, goes away, but then comes back frequently. Oh, okay, okay. So I've heard of carpal tunnel a lot. Is that something kind of similar? It is very similar in that both of them are a compression of the nerve. However, with carpal tunnel, you get the compression at the wrist, whereas with cubital tunnel, that nerve runs through your elbow and due to inflammation or possible fluid buildup, you get a compression of that nerve at the elbow. So what can cause that? Repetitive movements, yeah. um, holding your elbows in a fixed position for long periods of time. Um, we see office workers, I mean nowadays we spend so much time on computers that we're sitting at our desks with our elbows bent typing um, and then like I said repetitive any kind of like lifting repetitive lifting um, tasks okay. can cause those symptoms. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So what can I do today to help if, if I'm experiencing these things? And stuff? So one of the best things for cubital tunnel sy syndrome is uh, nerve glide exercises. So this is Anna. She's an occupational therapy student from the University of St. Augustine, and she's going to <coughs> demonstrate these exercises as I kind of explain them. So the first nerve glide that we're gonna do, she's going to start with her arm at her side and then push it back behind her a little bit. Then she is going to bring it forward and bend her elbow, bringing her hand up by her shoulder, almost like you're holding a tray if you were to like wait tables and hold a tray. So go ahead and do that for me. Then she's going to put her thumb and her first finger together and she's going to try and put that circle over her eye. Good, just like that. And she would hold this for about three to five seconds and then repeat this five to 10 times. So that movement is very difficult. So I'm gonna show you a modified version of that exercise. So we're gonna start with her arm in the same position and then she's going to bring it up like she's holding a tray and then instead of trying to bring those fingers over her eye, she's just going to bring her fingertips along her jawline. Good, and with that, she's gonna hold again three to five seconds and repeat five to 10 times. Excellent. So the next nerve glide that we're gonna do, she's gonna start with her arm straight out in front of her and her palm up towards the ceiling. She's gonna make a fist and curl her wrist towards her. Good, that's gonna be our starting position. And then from there, she's going to open her hand and fingers and bend her wrist backward and then bend her elbow slightly. Good, and then she's going to straighten and bring her wrist up and curl those fingers in back to the starting position. Good, and again with this one, hold three to five seconds and repeat five to 10 times a day. Awesome, thank you. So is is this right, like that? Yes, that like is, that. Oh, yep, okay. absolutely. Wow. That, that is kind of That is a very <laughs> difficult, <laughs> that is a very difficult <laughs> move. But yep. you can have fun with it anyway. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Like, like, if you, like hey, if you've got the condition in both <laughs> elbows, by all means, Maybe. go for both. <laughs> all right, thank you. Thank you both for uh, your uh, demonstration and explanation. Uh, our community really, 
uh, appreciates this and they benefit from this. So we appreciate you guys doing this, okay? Absolutely. So uh, guys, remember, if you're experiencing that pain, try these exercises at home. If you don't get relief, remember all you gotta do is give us a call. We have six locations uh, in the area, Jonesboro, Ruston, West Monroe, Monroe, and Bastrop, and even El Dorado, Arkansas. We are uh, offering occupational therapy at most of our locations. So again, just give us a call. We'd love to help you uh, improve from these impairments and get back to doing the things you wanna do.